doing this video because I had an incident a couple nights ago on September 21st, uh, 2020, and I, my father hopped in the car going to what he thought was going to be a quick trip to uh, the auto parts store. Ended up being a two-hour excursion. It ended up him with him in handcuffs and bleeding from a broken glass. Um, my father's medication and his device that uh, regulates his blood sugar was incompatible. It was prescribed to him by his doctor and um, it was giving him false readings or the wrong readings. So he was really, really far below his, his uh, blood sugar level. Um, I believe when the paramedics finally got to him, uh, it was down as low as 22. Um, so uh, what ended up happening is he went to Advanced Auto Parts and bought a, bought a tool, bought a part, like a socket, and then got turned around went six miles away all the way to Lawrenceville from Snellville ended up in the intersection of one of the downtown Lawrenceville uh, square intersections um, all he remembers is leaving the auto parts store so six miles of that was black blacked out he does remember being confused um, and then he vaguely remembers cars going around him well what was going around him was him in the intersection causing a long backup and traffic on a very lovely day this was a day that i was even out at the park at mountain park um stone mountain park with my daughter um so there had to be a bunch of people outside his blood sugar dropped so low that he didn't know where he was and um, he said that he remembers pausing to to try and figure out um, how to get back home unfortunately he left his phone at home and technically he wasn't supposed to be driving my sister had asked him not to take his car that take her car um officer borichter was the first on scene um with the Lawrenceville police department and i want to officially thank him for what he's done he saved my dad's life hands down um, he approached the vehicle and my dad was unresponsive his hands were in his lap he stared into the distance, and um, from what he was, what I was told from from Officer Borgter is that he tried to communicate with him, and then he he asked to try and get him out of the car if he can help because he was coming up to a stalled car. Um, what he didn't realize what was going to happen is that when he startled him, um, my dad put on the gas. Fortunately, he didn't put on the gas into a crowd of people, which he very well could have. God was looking after him that night and um, he slammed into a construction barricade it was made out of plastic it didn't do any damage to my sister's Jeep when he hit but um, uh, officer Borg to then tried to get him out by busting the, the driver's side window because everything locks on a Jeep and um, he didn't know at that point what was happening um, of course my dad looks like he's foreign and didn't respond in any kind of words. He didn't know if he spoke English. So what he did um, then was uh, detain him, make sure he wasn't hurting himself uh, or, or others, and especially with a, with a, a very big Jeep. And uh, he, he, he restrained him. And that's when he noticed that um, he had a, an insulin monitor on him. So with the insulin monitor and the fact that he had that um, on him, it made him realize that this was a medical emergency and he called it for an ambulance. He wasn't on any kind of drugs. At this point, he doesn't know him from Adam, so I don't blame him. Um, my, um, the, the paramedics came eventually and then administered all the, all the right insulin and got him at least talking, but they were going off the monitor of this, this this is a monitor that is not compatible with the medicine that my dad's taking. Um, and it was giving him a false reading even then. So he doesn't, he barely remembers even what the paramedic said. Um, but um, he's safe, he's at home. Uh, the officer and, and paramedics responding did what they're they supposed to do. There were people that were 
filming and the crowds uh, um, and, and that was forming because of all the chaos that happened uh, with the officer pulling my dad out, you know, 85 year old man, um, probably a lot smaller. I haven't met Officer Borobtu yet face to face, but you know, he's, a, he's not a big man, my, my dad. So I hold him. I don't hold him accountable at all for what he had to do. So uh, if any video ends up popping up on YouTube, this is documentation that from from his son, uh, the what could be perceived as a victim. Uh, he's not. He was not a victim. He was being saved. So I wanted to do this video um, preemptively and publicly thanking the people of Lawrenceville Police Department in Gwinnett, um, in Gwinnett County and anybody that responded. Um, there was a bystander that was a off-duty nurse, I believe. Um, so I'm still getting information about that. I don't have the copy of the police report, but um, I do have all the all the names of the the uh, Lawrenceville Police Department people that were involved, and um, I want to just thank thank them for helping save my dad's life. That's it.